Travis Aiken joins us once again. He is with Illinois Lawsuit Abuse Watch. Travis Aiken, no relation. Good morning, Travis Aiken. <laughs> Good morning. What happened? Last time you were in studio, you don't like us anymore? No, I, I, I'm stuck in, in traffic here. On, on the, mm-hmm. I'm actually in Missouri now, but uh, I, I wasn't able to make it in time. All right. Well, we'll uh, let you pass this, this time. Uh, there is a new report on the St. Louis and Madison counties uh, judicial uh, venues. What does this report say? Well, yeah, every year the American Tour Reform Association comes out with their annual uh, judicial hellholes report, and uh, Madison and St. Clair County are ranked as the fifth worst judicial hellholes in the country. Uh, St. Louis was named as a jurisdiction to watch, and uh, they define a judicial hellhole uh, as a place where judges systematically apply laws and court procedures in an unfair and unbalanced manner. Uh, So there are six named judicial hellholes. Madison and St. Clair County were collectively named the fifth worst judicial hellhole. And then St. Louis County, which had, or St. Louis City, which has been on the report before as a named judicial hellhole, uh, was named as a jurisdiction to watch. And really what this means to the average citizen is that when, when a business is looking at a place to locate or expand or, uh, you know, build, build up a new business, uh, they really want to look at a place where they're not going to get sued out, out of existence. And, you know, here in Illinois, we have one of the highest unemployment rates in, in the country. Uh, we continue to lose jobs and opportunities to other states. Uh, you know, L- Illinois uh, is making a play, for instance, for a, a new Boeing plant. But, it, you know, Illinois, by all accounts, is not a place where people are looking to, to build build businesses. And so, from, from that standpoint, I think it's important uh, if, a, if a region, if a part of the state, if a part of the, the country or a city like St. Louis wants to position itself better to attract new jobs and opportunities, they need to look at addressing their, their court systems and make sure that, that it's fair. What we're advocating is fairness. Well, one man's fairness is another man's unfairness. Well, I, I, I mean, I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you, what constitutes fairness? That that that's a great buzzword, but but what is fair? Well, I think what is fair is is making sure that the cases that are heard in a particular court jurisdiction actually have something to do with 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 that particular jurisdiction. One of the reasons why Madison County is cited in the report is because they they have become a national asbestos docket. We have uh, last year there was over almost sixteen hundred asbestos cases filed. Uh, 25% of the nation's asbestos litigation ends up in Madison County courts. And, uh, you know, that, that's not fair to the local residents who need access to those courts, who need swift, speedy justice. Uh, they're the ones who pay taxes in Madison County, and yet 90% of the asbestos cases that they come there have nothing to do with, with Madison County. That's not fair. That's not fair to the people uh, who pay the taxes in those jurisdictions who uh, depend on those courts to get the justice that they deserve. Yeah, what was the city of St. Louis's problem? Well, one of the, the main issues why they were, were cited in, in the report um, is that they are uh, permitting uh, law, lawyers in, in uh, pharmaceutical cases to uh, combine diff- different cases, and uh, it makes it difficult for, because they're combining these different cases, it makes it difficult for companies to mount a, a defense, and uh, th- there's also some, some concern about uh, the size of some of the judgments that, that are coming through uh, St. Louis as well. And so it, uh, it, it's, you know, it's on their radar screen as a, as a jurisdiction to watch. Obviously, the, the uh, reforms passed by the Missouri legislature uh, in 2005 ha- um, have alleviated a lot of the problems, and, and that's why St. Louis was off. The judicial hellholes report for a period of time, uh, but but there's some troubling um, cases and, and uh, jury awards that uh, that make it a jurisdiction to watch. So, what does your group want people to do? Well, what, what, what we advocate for uh, is one: we want people to pay attention to uh, who's serving on the bench because it's judges that make a, a, up a judicial hellhole, and to you know here in Illinois. Uh, 
uh, we have the opportunity to vote in judicial elections, and, and so we encourage people to make informed decisions when they go to the polls and vote in those elections. Don't you think a judge, a judge having to raise money for an election is sort of rife with sort of scandal? In- uh, well, I, I, I can see the merits uh, of both systems. What, what I've been an advocate for is kind of a, a hybrid of the, the selection process that you have in Missouri uh, and the election process that you have in Illinois and uh, ba- basically allow a, a, a committee to select uh, the, the, the judicial candidates and then put them up for, for either uh, some sort of retention or election process. Because I think it's important for citizens to have a voice in the judicial process, but the sad reality is nobody pays attention to who's on the ballot for judge. And that that uh, no one pays attention right to who's on the for, ballot for, for abuse. No, no one pays attention to who's on the ballot for president or governor or state senator. <laughs> or so dog judge cat. Is a- Travis, you and I go back all the way, and I think some of your points have merits. But you know, when people talk about capping uh, damages and stuff, but how much should you have to charge a doctor who cuts off the wrong leg? I mean, that doctor needs to pay and needs to pay bad. Um, you well, know. And again, if you have a legitimate claim, uh, absolutely, you need access to 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 the courts. And I, I think, you know, we we would argue that those hellhole jurisdictions, uh, places like Madison and St. Clair County, uh, places like St. St. Louis, where where the scales of justice seem to be tipped to to the plaintiff side, uh, we we want to level level the play, playing field. And uh, you know, I, I think there's a problem when when you create a, a cottage industry. Um, you know, here in Madison County, for instance, uh, I've heard arguments on the other side where they say, well, uh, this is a boost to the economy because they're paying the fees to file these lawsuits. And uh, that, that's not how you grow an economy by, by building on filing a whole bunch of lawsuits. What, what, what you build an economy on is, is attracting jobs and, and opportunities. And, that, and you can't deny that, especially in Illinois, where we have the fourth highest unemployment rate in the country, that uh, the the legal landscape, the regulations, the taxes that we have in Illinois, all are a factor in why jobs and, and opportunities are going to other states, like like Missouri. Travis uh, Aiken, uh, what's the website to find out more? www.illawsuitabusewatch.org. Travis, drive safe, and we'll see you in studio next time. Yes, thank you. Travis Aiken here with the Illinois Lawsuit Abuse Watch, 828 here.